In this quick lesson from the MacU.com, we're going to look at how users of 2016 and later MacBook Pros can utilize their touch bar to control what sort of screenshot is taken and where it's going to be sent. So I have a Finder window open here, and below that is a live view of the touch bar of this Mac, courtesy of an app called Touche. If you're not familiar with the touch bar, it replaces the area of the keyboard traditionally held by the function keys. F1, 2, and so on. On 2016 and newer MacBook Pros, we get a touch-enabled display strip here that will adjust what buttons and controls are available depending on what app or window is open. So right now I have a Finder window open. Tap on this View button and I can switch from the Icon View mode to List View or Column. If I open up Safari, we get a completely different set of options here. I can switch between open tabs, navigate forward or back, or quickly jump into a search. When taking a screenshot, you'll still want to know the keyboard shortcuts to invoke the screenshot command. To take a quick screenshot of your entire display or displays that will then be instantly saved to the desktop, use Shift-Command-3. I have an external display attached to this MacBook Pro, so each time I take a screenshot with Shift-Command-3, I get two image files on the desktop. To bring up a crosshair cursor and screenshot options on the touch bar, use Shift-Command-4. Notice now in the touch bar that we have three buttons. Selected portion, window, and entire screen. Selected portion is currently highlighted, which is why we have the crosshairs cursor here. If I just want a screenshot of the finder sidebar, I can click and drag to select the area, release, and the screenshot is then going to be saved to my desktop. Tap the Window button in the touch bar, and the cursor changes to a camera. Now as I hover over any window, the window is going to be highlighted. Click and a screenshot of just the window is saved. We also have an entire screen button here in the touch bar as well. That's going to do the same thing as the Shift-Command-3 shortcut. But if you'd like to save or share the screenshot directly to somewhere other than the desktop, tap on the Save To button here. So I can choose to save this into my Documents folder, or to the clipboard, which would just copy the screenshot, and then let me paste it where I like. Swipe over, and we can share the screenshot via mail or messages. I'll select Messages here, and then take a screenshot of just this window. That opens the Messages app, and a new message is created with the screenshot ready to go. One thing to keep in mind when doing this is that the next time we use the Shift-Command-4 shortcut, the selections made here were saved, so I need to switch back to the desktop or another option here if I didn't want the next screenshot also sent to Messages. Another nice option here is the ability to send the screenshot to Preview. This will give you quick access to the markup tools in Preview if you want to add a shape or text to the screenshot, and then save or share it from here in Preview. So that's a quick look at how you can take and control screenshots utilizing the touch bar. Look for a more complete tutorial on the touch bar and what it can do with various apps coming to the macu.com in the summer of 2018. Thanks for watching.